So I didn't realize it was recording. So what we need next is we need to have our statuses show up and our categories show up. So let's start over here. Over here, NetBean, sorry. Quite sure why he won't go away. There you go. So under a category, let's create a new file. And we'll call this read categories.php. I don't like that they're starting with a boilerplate. Just setting my ways here. Require once includes headers PHP. Once again, that gives us access to our logging, our database. So here we don't really doing if any sets. We're not inserting anything. We're just going to say read ID description from categories order by description log it query and then this is going to be a little different so here we, we need to return a set of data so we're going to say result equals odbc exec and once again we pass in our connection and we pass in our query and then we're going to say while row is equal to OBC, odbc fetch array and we're going to get that from result we're going to do something so we're going to create an array called my array two brackets and it's going to equal an array open parentheses terminate that and here we're going to take all of our records and put them into the array so id is going to be the row id and the description is going to equal the row description. Pretty sweet. So now at the end of our while loop, make sure you're at the end of the while loop here. Now we're going to say if is set my array, because you may not get any records back. You may have an empty array. Otherwise, we're just going to say echo true. Because all that means, if it's not set, you didn't get any records. You may not have any records. If the size of my array interesting size of my array is greater than zero else once again you may not have anything. Okay. So if it does, what we need to do is create an output variable and then JSON encode my array into something we can use. And then we're going to echo that output. Now there are times where we could add some stuff to this, like a total count of records. If we wanted to have that, we could add that to this parameter here. Uh, and we could have multiple uh, JSON strings. But this, this is going to satisfy us for now. So, what we need to do now is go back into Architect. Well, let me stop this here, and we'll pick back up and deal with the Architect part. No, we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going. So, we talked earlier about we're going to have stores. We're not really going to use this global store over here. We're going to use local stores so we can bind stuff, which is nicer. So, I'm going to go over here to stores, and I'm going to right-click and say add a JSON store. And that JSON store's name it's going to be categories and the stores is going to have some fields we're going to have field ID and description and that store has an Ajax reader and it is going to need a URL so we come down here to the bottom and we say data category read categories PHP okay so now we come back up here to our combo box actually I did not want to do that let me take this guy here and move him Let's see if I can move him I'm gonna take these categories this is on my viewport once again I'm gonna create bug so I'm gonna say store move him over here to bug create bug hold on to it for a second should switch there we go stores 
Bingo. Okay, now we get a category. And we say store. And we want to bind it to this store. Categories. Cool. Then one more thing we need to do. Field. So we need to, we've got a display field. We want it to display the description. We want the value of it to be the ID. So we're going to be sending back the ID. Okay. And this store, I'm just going to make this an auto load true because we don't have a big application. Normally in a big application, you'd put an after render effect on the window and then load the store that way. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. And we can see it. Let's create an array event binding and we're going to say after render. On create bug after render, that's fine. I'm okay with that. And then over here, we're gonna say var me equals this me dot get view model because this is the controller. It's where the code's executing. So give me the view controller dot get store. And this is categories dot load. That's gonna load the store. So let's check it out. Let's see if we're uh, if we're loaded up here. We're going to say bugs, create bug, and this says we're unable to parse the JSON returned by the server. So we look at category, probably don't have any category. Okay, so we go to network, and bring him up, read categories, and here we go. So in the next video, we're going to figure out what's going on here, okay?